All right? Break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Ha, uh, we won't. Alex, okay, are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was... So real. It was like it... I was... <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. You're supposed to be yellow brick roading it to the wood station right about now. Ren, are you doing okay? Like, you haven't almost drowned or anything in the last hour, or... No, fit as a fiddle. Well, like a fiddle you'd find in someone's damn shed or something. You know, kind of warped, looks a okay. little... Okay, satisfied? Can we go now? Okay, but just, like, be careful, you two, okay? Careful. Definitely will do. Check, double check. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. All right. See you after at the bomb shelter. Do you know what time it is? It's four in the morning, which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. 
It is all I we have. This, yeah. Um, I just stuff is I just wish I felt like the ghosts from, were like, concerned their that their plan won't work. Something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. God, we're in another loop de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... <sighs> hope that. Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... Nona, come on. Clarissa was dead too, but like bunny ears dead, not dead dead. Because apparently killing yourself doesn't actually do anything here. Alex. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Nona. I didn't mean anything. What happened? He... he drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... he just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done in this case. Shut up, okay? Just shut the hell up. I don't want to hear any more of your ghost garbage, all right? It isn't garbage, and we're not ghosts. Don't be rude. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you... How on earth would give you the idea that I'm in charge? It's been like herding puppies the entire night, making anyone do anything. Please drop the modesty. It's lying for no reason. It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you count. No, no way. I'm saving everyone. Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. Uh, courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? I don't care. We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't intend to provide you.
The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know. I, I just thought you should know. God. But that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway. Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the uh, station speakers. <laughs> Are you guys at the station? They're both alive. Anybody? That's all I care about. Jonas? God. Yeah, no, Jonas? that's a that's Watch a out, can hear this. Seriously, right in the throat. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? The machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Time's a wasted. X. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted away. No, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing with stuff. We had to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that No, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close it wasn't that you were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean from like five thousand feet up it wasn't that high hello we're here we made it hello Jeez. finally thank you if you're being sat on by a very large burglar just mash the dial with your fist please um look the, the ghosts told me they wanted to to make a sort of deal for clarissa what? I said no, of course, but I, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Mr. Jordan, couldn't we have him reborn? Oh, no. Come on, Jonas. Don't turn freaky now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh... Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like just... Like, how do I say this? Because I don't want... It's okay, want... Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say... I just... I think it would have been cool, us living together for... For whatever. Senior year. And I'm just... Glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. <laughs> I'm... Glad, too. Okay? So, there. It's out in the open. We're both glad. Okay. Good. So, that's it. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Let's finish strong now. No half acidness at the end.
Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight. But you know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. What concert? It wasn't, you can't call it a concert. It was like an all day, all night, like festival with tents and like a hundred bands. I don't care if it had a million bands, Alex. Ashley had stolen her mom's car to go. And I know you say you didn't know that, which whatever, but you still knew mom and dad had barred you from going. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However, inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. It'll be the last time, but maybe not for the reasons you think. I don't really care about the reasons. Just for my own sanity, don't do it anymore. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. But you, you know what I mean. Wow. Big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step. That's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny. I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Well, if you leave, I'd certainly miss you. Yeah, no, I'd miss you too. It's just that everybody here knows me, you know? I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. You are, are great, though. And, and you're gonna be great whatever you do. I'm sure of it. You got spunk, kid. Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Huh, that's actually, <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> Stop it! Alex? Stop it. Just stop. Ugh. You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just... I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on. It's all right. I think I can hear Ren and... No, I just always do the poster. I mean, you get the option, right? You guys, uh, doing okay? Yeah, everything went fine. But Ren, wait, seriously. In AP English, all you had to do was make a fake book cover poster at the end of the semester? Yeah, but the trick is you have to claim you're a kinesthetic learner. I have to make something with my hands, teacher. Or... That's... Huh, that's pretty... That's good. You got Moxie. I'll have to do that next year. Well, I don't know. I kind of maybe ruined it for the rest of you since I used that excuse in like five classes already. <laughs> uh, so if this thing doesn't bend right, this might be like the last time any of us are us. So, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> Let's just say it's been nice knowing you. It's, it's been, been nice, nice knowing, knowing you. you. Come on, let's take a picture. Really quick. Ren, no. Just really quick. Custer's last stand style. That Contessa who farted on her deathbed, just like who cares? Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach, kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. <sighs> okay, I guess. Let's do this. Hey.
Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Oh, I know. 